Hey guys, this is Bioman and welcome back to YouTube News. This is a series that it's exactly what it sounds like. This is news about YouTube. Once again, the uh, video content of this video, the actual gameplay, is from Sonic Adventure, because that's what I have on my hard drive right now, Sonic Adventure. And so, um, what are we talking about today? We're talking about YouTube's new feature, which is called Fan Finder. Link is in the description to this, and what this is is basically an unpaid AdWords system. Which I think is really interesting. I'm gonna say why. If you don't know what AdWords is, AdWords is basically you give Google a bit of money and then they'll actually put out an ad for you, for your YouTube channel, or for a specific video. So, say if I wanted to make uh, an ad for my YouTube news series, I would basically just make a video about the series itself, submit that to AdWords, and then submit a payment to AdWords. And based on my payment, they would put it as an ad to a certain number of people, um, you know, as a normal. A lot, a lot like the ads that you see before YouTube videos um, that you might have seen before this one. And so, what is this, the Fan Finder? It's essentially an unpaid version of this. And I was surprised when I first saw that. Um, it says on the website, it says, at no cost to you. And I, <laughs> once again, I was really surprised at this, because this isn't something that's in YouTube's best interest. At least that's what it seems like to me at first glance. Because, you know, they're essentially giving up ad space where they would be making money for something that they're not making any money on at all. But then I realized something. I realized, wait a minute. This may actually be good for... This may, this may actually be good for YouTube, and here's why. Basically, well, first, before I get into that, let me go into what this actually entails. Basically, you make an ad for yourself, and you submit it using their unpaid system, and I'll put it... I guess to like a certain number of people's well yeah I guess a certain number of people's ad spaces and it says that it'll be tailored depending on interest so basically someone who's really interested in YouTube videos and how to get better at making YouTube videos might get my ad and so they give a lot of tips in the little video underneath it. they give a lot of tips talking about basically how to make yours better and things like that and so why do I think this is in YouTube's best interest and in Google's best interest? I think they're trying to go for getting more people to monetize their content at smaller channel sizes. They're trying to encourage people to try to get more out there and because of that they're going to think, oh, okay, I should start monetizing my stuff. And because of that they're probably going to get lower CPMs because I believe, this, this may or may not be true, but I'm pretty sure YouTube scales CPM based off of channel size. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh, this may just be some networks, though, so don't take my word 100% on this. But if that's true, then that means that that's what YouTube is going for. Basically, the more small channels, um, you know, the more that small channels monetize their stuff, the more money YouTube gets overall. Because it's a lot better to have a lot of smaller channels monetizing than a few bigger channels. Um, because basically, that means that. If it's a smaller CPM for smaller channels, they get to keep more of it. Uh, YouTube gets to keep more of it. And so that's basically what I have for this. I know this is a lot smaller than the last one because it's not as big of a deal, but it still is kind of big. If you are, you know, they're, they're trying to promote smaller channels, which I think is pretty cool. If you're a smaller channel and you're wanting to do this, if you're wanting to get stuff out there to people who may like your content, I suggest you go right to that page. The link is in the description. And you can just make an ad and submit that ad, and it'll come up as an ad, an actual advertisement before a YouTube video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you are excited about this, if you want to let more people know about this, best way to do that, hit the like button. It spreads out to more people, even more so that they added all the Google Plus stuff. Um, a quick note on the Google Plus stuff, um, I happen to take a contrary view to what a lot of people think. I'm not going to go very much in depth on it because I already did that a lot on Twitter. My link is in the description for Twitter, by the way, if you want to follow me on there and get stuff like that, um, but on Twitter I was talking about basically, it's not hard to link a Google Plus account to your YouTube account. You click, what, like 10 times or less and you've already made an account? It's not that hard and people are getting way too crazy over this and it helps smaller channels a lot more than it helps bigger channels, which is 
very, very good. Um, it helps a small to medium sized range. So it's not going to be helping, you know, your X Jaws, your C Nanners, your Minnesota Burns, but it will be helping, you know, smaller channels and moderately sized channels. And so basically, I think this is a very good thing. Uh, even if the comment section is kind of messed up for it now, they're going to be fixing that soon, I soon, I assume. But yeah, anyway. Uh, with that little side rant in there, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Hit the like button if you want to spread the word about this. And yeah, my name is Wild Man, and I'll see you all next time.